ATP synthesis. ATP or adenosine triphosphate is composed of three phosphates. When one falls off, energy is released and it becomes ADP or adenosine diphosphate with two phosphates. To form ADP into ATP, the reaction is non-spontaneous because it requires additional energy to add the phosphate. The reaction from ATP to ADP is spontaneous because it releases energy. Therefore, it does not need additional energy to break off the phosphate. Since our cells are smart and great multitaskers, they use a process known as coupling to make ATP without having to do hard work. On the inside of the mitochondria, there are more protons compared to the outside of the membrane. The protons want to keep everything balanced, so some rush to the outside through ATP synthase. During coupling, our cells take advantage of the spontaneous reaction by pairing it with the non-spontaneous reaction. While the protons rush to the other side, they spin the ATP synthase, which has a phosphate attached to it. As an ADP molecule comes along, it attaches the phosphate to it, creating ATP, which your body can now use for energy.